Alleluia, Christ is risen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Cross and grave, 
Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are raised with him to new life. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God. For in the beginning you created us in your image and planted us in a well-watered garden. In the desert you promised pools of water for the parched, and you gave us water from the rock. When we did not know the way, you sent the good shepherd to lead us to still waters. At the cross, you watered us from Jesus' wounded side. And on this day, you shower us again with the waters of life. We praise you for your salvation through water, for the water in this font, and for all water everywhere. Bathe us in your forgiveness, grace, and love. Satisfy the thirsty and give us the life only you can give. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Holy, Holy Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, on this day we rejoice in your glory and stand in awe of how you have transformed this world with your dying and your rising. Receive our joyful praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. 
everyone, it's Bubble and Bonnie here. I am bursting with excitement. Today is Easter when we celebrate and shout, Alleluia, Jesus is risen. What a wonderful day of celebration this is. Happy Easter to you all. I'm going to share with you the story of Jesus' resurrection. This story starts out very sad because Jesus has died, but has a wonderful happy ending because Jesus, our Savior, is risen, and that is why we celebrate Easter. And we can shout, Alleluia, again, which means praise the Lord. The story is from the book of Matthew, the 28th chapter. Early in the morning on Sunday, the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene, one of Jesus' friends, woke up very sad. She was thinking about what had happened on Friday just a few short days ago. It was awful. They were so mean to Jesus. How could they not know that he was truly from God? Jesus taught her so much. She couldn't believe he was gone. Jesus died on the cross. She started crying when she was thinking about how they buried his body in a tomb, rolled a giant stone in front of the door, and sealed it shut. Mary missed Jesus so much. But Mary knew she had a really important job to do to honor Jesus, her teacher, and her Messiah. She wiped the tears from her face, and she went to gather the supplies she needed. Fine linen cloths to wrap his body in. Anointing spices to help and oil to anoint his body. She went and got a few of her friends to go with her to Jesus' tomb to help anoint his body. On the way to the tomb, they talked about how sad they were. They worried about the soldiers that were guarding the tomb. Would they let them pass? And then they wondered, how were they going to roll that giant stone away from the tomb? When they got to the tomb, they were shocked and surprised to see the big stone had rolled away. And the guards, they weren't there. The women went into the tomb. They were kind of scared. They didn't know what to do. And they were looking for Jesus' body because they knew they had something important to do. But when they got in there, they saw an angel dressed in a dazzling white robe. The women blinked their eyes. They couldn't believe what they were seeing. Do not be afraid, the angel said to them. You are looking for Jesus, but he is not here. He is alive. You, the angels instructed them, need to go and tell his disciples, Jesus is risen. Could it be true? One of the women asked. They quickly hurried, bursting with joy, to go tell the disciples the good news. All of a sudden, as they were walking to go tell the disciples, Jesus popped up before them saying, Hail, as a greeting. The women fell to the ground and reached out to Jesus to touch him. He really was alive again. Rabboni, meaning teacher, said Mary. It's you! Mary said that because she really knew it was Jesus. The women were ready to pop with excitement. Jesus said to them, go and tell my disciples I'm alive. The women hurried down the road, bubbling to share the good news. Jesus is risen. Alleluia! The word of the Lord, to which we say, thanks be to God. According to St. Mark, the 16th chapter. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us when we at, to the entrance of the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and, there were, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed, for you are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who has been crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled for the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Messiah, Christ is risen. Well, our Lenten journey has come to an end. And one of my friends earlier this week said, this is the lentiest Lent I have ever experienced in my life. You know, we started out in this normal fashion. On Ash Wednesday, we gathered here in this sanctuary and we heard those words, remember you are dust and to dust you shall return. But then, in a few short weeks, our entire world was turned upside down. We learned about coronavirus and what social distancing was all about. We were told to stay home, to be safe, to stay away from others so that we can protect them and protect ourselves. We discovered what a pandemic was firsthand, and we felt the weight of an ever-changing world. And with that came fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of what might happen, fear that was brought about by isolation and maybe even watching too much TV. Yes, it was a very different Lent than we have experienced before. And unfortunately, many of these things that are related to this pandemic have not come to an end on this Easter morn. But, Something new has happened on this day. And this new thing, well, it will change everything, including how we face this pandemic that we are currently living in. Now, just two days ago, it was Good Friday. It was a day when we watched the hands of hatred pin Jesus to a cross. We listened to the painful cries that came from the Son of Man and the Son of God. We saw our Savior die. Then we followed Joseph as he carried Jesus to that empty tomb and gently laid his body inside. And a mighty stone was used to seal that tomb tight. But today, Today, things are different. For today, the darkness has been shattered. The light has broken into our world. And Jesus, well, Jesus is alive. You see, the pain that they inflicted on him, it was only temporary. The tomb that they stuffed him in, it couldn't hold the Son of God. And the silence, the silence that started in the morning has been shattered with shouts of joy and praise. Yes, Jesus is alive. And death has no power over him, no power over us. And amazing things are going to happen. So this morning, as we travel with the Marys to the tomb, as we walk that dusty, dangerous, frightening road, and we see, that the stone has been rolled away. And then we run into the tomb with the women. We poke our heads in and we see that the tomb is empty, except for the angel that is sitting there and saying, he is not here. He has been raised. There are times that we also go with Mary to the garden. And it is there that we hear Jesus call to her and call to us by name. And this calling awakens us to new life. Yes, the wait is over. And the celebration, it is just beginning. New life has been born on this day. And we, the inheritors of this amazing gift, are gathered to praise the one who defeated death so that all may live. Jesus Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. You see, that is the promise that we witness to this day. The promise that prayers are answered. And they're answered in such a great way that it shatters the foundation of the world. 
Earthquakes shake the earth. Curtains are torn in two. Old ways are put to rest. The darkness of death is defeated. New light has broken forth. Yes, sin. Sin has been given its death sentence. And eternal life is glimpsed. And so we cry out with words of praise and joy and hope. Yes, brothers and sisters, on this day, we see that God has changed the world. No longer do we need to go searching for him. No longer do we need to fear what might come. No longer do we need to let this pandemic control our every thought. For the tomb is empty and Christ is here. Earlier this week, I asked people to share one blessing that they have already experienced in this pandemic time, in this time when we are forced to stay home. And the responses, the responses were so life-giving. One said, I get to spend more time with my family, more time with my husband who travels when we're not around. I get to see creativity pop out of my children in new ways. I am given permission to stop and to breathe. I get to see the care and the generosity in the life of my neighbors. And the list just went on and on and on. For you see, the risen Christ brings hope. Hope in the midst of fear. Hope that soothes our pain. Hope that the word of the resurrection, the word of new life, is a word that will always be with us. And in the glorious of the resurrection, we also hear the promises that God makes. The promise of how he will roll away our stones. How he will empty our tombs. And how he will give us a new and eternal life. Yes, this empty tomb, it is a promise to you. A promise that no matter what comes, no matter what difficulties or temptations or viruses or struggles you face, in the end, there will be a resurrection. Yes, in the end, the voice of the living and resurrected God will cry out to you. You are my child. You are my beloved. And I am with you. I will always be with you. And in the end, I will bring you to this glorious new life. For you are mine. I have called you by name. I have claimed you as my own. And that is the good news, the great news of this Easter morn. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Nine. Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Christ the Lord is risen today, Alleluia. Christians hasten on your way, Alleluia. Offer praise with love replete, Alleluia. At the Paschal victim's feet, Alleluia. For the sheep the Lamb has bled, Alleluia. Sinless in the sinner's stead, Alleluia. Christ the Lord is risen on high, Alleluia. Now he lives no more to die, Alleluia. 
Christ the victim undefiled, Alleluia. God and sinners reconciled, Alleluia. When contending death and life, Alleluia. Met in strange and awesome strife, Alleluia. Christians on this holy day, Alleluia. All your grateful homage pay, Alleluia. Christ the Lord is risen on high, Alleluia. Now he lives no more to die, Alleluia. With the whole church, let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Uplifted by the promise of hope, of healing and resurrection, we join with the people of God in all times and places, praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of resurrection, from the very beginning you give the church the gift of women as your witnesses, as preachers, teachers, and leaders. Open our ears to hear their proclamation this day and always. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All creation praises you. The earth hums, the seas pulse, the stars shine, and the galaxies whirl in your glorious harmonies to honor you. Let us hear and blend our voices in the song. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We still weep for those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. Cradle the fearful, the suffering, and the dying, assuring them of your loving presence, especially those who who are affected by this pandemic, and our friends and our loved ones. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless those who are serving others, especially doctors, nurses, CNAs, EMTs, nurse practitioners, and all others in the health fields. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Risen Lord, you went ahead of us into the grave, and defeated the powers of evil. We remember those who have died. Inspire us to live our lives in this resurrection hope and draw us to you in our final days. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. With bold confidence in your love, almighty God, we place all for whom we pray into your eternal care through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us be so bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. At this time, if you so feel moved, we invite you to share the peace in our comment section as we are broadcasting this. So please add your 
words of peace during this time. Also at this time, we would be receiving our offering if we were all here in the sanctuary together. So I invite you to consider sending in an offering or giving online. And in this moment, we will now continue with our offering hymn, which is this joyful Easter tide, number 391. This joyful Easter tide, away with sin and sorrow. My love, the crucified, has sprung to life this morrow. Had Christ who once was slain not burst his three-day prison, our faith had been in vain. But now has Christ arisen, 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 arisen. My flesh in hope shall rest, and for a season's slumber, till trump from to west shall wake the dead in number. Had Christ who once was slain not burst his three-day prison, our faith had been in vain. But now has Christ arisen, 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 arisen. Death's flood has lost its chill since Jesus crossed the river. Lover of souls from ill, my passing soul deliver. Had Christ who once was slain not burst his three-day prison, our faith had been in vain. But now has Christ arisen, 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 arisen. Let us pray. Risen One, nourish us with your word to follow you using our gifts to feed the hungry and tend the weary, all for your love's sake. Amen. And now, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Hymn number 364, Christ has risen. Alleluia. Christ has arisen, hallelujah. Rejoice and praise him, hallelujah. For our Redeemer burst from the tomb, even from death dispelling the gloom. Let us sing praise to him with endless joy. Death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. Jesus is living, alleluia. For three long days the grave did its worst Until its strength by God was dispersed He who gives life did death undergo 
And in its conquest his might did show. Let us sing praise to him with endless joy. Death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. Jesus is living, alleluia. The angel said to them, do not fear. You look for Jesus who is not here. See for yourselves, the tomb is all bare. Only the grave clothes are lying there. Let us sing praise to him with endless joy. Death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. Jesus is living, alleluia. Go spread the news, he's not in the grave. He has arisen this world to save. Jesus redeeming labors are done. Even the battle with sin is won. Endless joy, death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. Jesus is living, alleluia. Christ has arisen to set us free, alleluia. To him praises he. Jesus is living, let us all sing. He reigns triumphant, heavenly King. Let us sing praise to him with endless joy. Death's fearful sting he has come to destroy. Our sin forgiving, alleluia. Jesus is living, alleluia. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He has risen indeed. You are the body of Christ, raised up for the world. Go in peace, share the good news. Thanks be to God.